Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an exponential equation with natural log. We have x to the power ln x equals 1, and we're going to be solving for x values. We're going to be looking for all the solutions. I'm also going to show you a graph, I mean solutions from Wolfram Alpha at the end. Okay, so when you have an equation like this, ln x is in the exponent, it's a variable, the base is a variable. So let's go ahead and simplify this a little bit by logging both sides. And natural log would be a good choice. So let's go ahead and ln both sides. And then you can go ahead and move the ln x to the front. And you get ln x multiplied by itself, which is ln x squared. And ln 1 is equal to 0 if you're looking for a real value. And then from here, we basically get ln x equals 0. And that implies that x equals 1. So x equals 1 is the real solution, but we're not looking for the real solutions only. We're also going to be looking for complex solutions. So we need to do a little bit more than this to solve for all solutions. So let's restart. Now we have the following equation. In order to be able to get the complex solutions from here, we're going to write 1 as a complex number in polar form. In other words, we're going to complexify 1. So how can we do that? If you think about the complex plane, 1 is going to be as 1 comma 0 or 1 plus 0 i. So it's going to be on the real axis because it hasn't, uh, doesn't have any imaginary parts. And it's going to be 1 unit away from 0. So its modulus is going to be 1. And 1 is basically located on the real axis, on the positive real axis. Therefore, the angle it makes with the positive real axis is going to be 0 radians or 2 pi radians or any multiple of 2 pi radians. So let's go ahead and express that angle as 2 pi n. So you know, hopefully you do, that any complex number can be written as r times e to the power i theta, thanks to Euler. Now theta is the angle we talked about and r is the modulus or the absolute value of the complex number. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that, and then we're going to do the natural logging both sides thing. Okay, so now this tells us we can replace 1 with 1, which is r, times e to the power 2 pi n i. Of course, we're supposed to multiply by i. There's an i component here. And then we're going to do the natural log on both sides. Let's go ahead and move this a little bit right so we can fit the ln there and now we're going to ln this and ln that and by using properties of logarithms again we're going to move this to the front it's going to give us ln x multiplied by itself which is ln x squared and this can be moved to the front as well but ln e is equal to 1 so it's just going to give us e to the power I mean not e to the power but just the whatever the exponent is 2 pi n i of course, in this case, n is an integer. It can be positive or negative or even 0. Now, think about it for a minute. If n is equal to 0, you get ln, you get ln x equals 0, which gives you x equals 1 as a real value. But since we're looking for more solutions, let's go ahead and keep it as is now. Now, here's the thing we need to think about. 2 pi n i is a multiple of i, so it's a pure imaginary number. But where is that going to appear? There are two kinds of imaginary numbers. It can be here or here. Of course, that depends on the modulus, right? Or I shouldn't say modulus. It depends on the imaginary part. If the imaginary part is positive, then our number is going to be on the positive imaginary axis. Otherwise, it's going to be down below. So let's go ahead and look at it in different parts. So if n is greater than 0. Obviously, 2 pi is positive, so 2 pi n is going to be positive in this case. Then we can safely say that we're going to write this as ln x equals the square root of 2 pi n. And then we're supposed to multiply this by the square root of i. Let's go ahead and write this as square root of i, and then we'll talk about it. 
This basically gives us two solutions. So you might be thinking, hey, there should be two solutions here because something critical is 2 pi and i, but it's actually multi-valued, and there are actually infinitely many values, so there's going to be a lot of solutions. But let's think about the um, square root of i here. So what we can, one of the things we can do here is we can write it as an exponential number. So i can be written as e to the power i pi over 2. So square root of i actually has two values. One of them is going to be e to the power i pi over 4. And the other one, which you can also write as i to the power 1 half, because there are two square roots, is just going to be the opposite of this number. So you can call it negative, or you can use uh, 5 pi over 4 as the argument. It's the same thing. So those are going to be the values that we're looking for. So let's just focus on one of these for now. If we go with the positive one, it's going to be the square root of 2 pi n multiplied by the square root of i, which is going to be e to the power i pi over 4. And then, of course, i pi over 4 can be written as cosine pi over 4 plus i sine pi over 4, and that will be root 2 over 2 plus root 2 over 2 times i. And we're going to multiply it by square root of 2 pi n, and of course this is ln x. So that's not the end of the story, because we're still trying to solve for x, so let's go ahead and do e to the power both sides, and x is equal to e to the power ln x, and that's going to be e to the power square root of 2 pi n, multiply by root 2 over 2, plus root 2 over 2i. And of course, when you have a number like this, it can always be written in standard form. Let's just go ahead and focus on this one again. We can write it as e to the power square root of 2 pi n times square root of 2 over 2, and then times e to the power root 2 over 2i. Now, something interesting happens here. This root 2 over 2 is actually the same thing as 1 over root 2. So we can write this as e to the power square root of 2 pi n over 2 inside the radical, and then the 2s are going to cancel out, leaving, giving us the square root of pi n or n pi. So you're going to see this in the results and don't be surprised because we started off with the square root of 2 pi n, but now we're, we ended up with something different. Now what do you do with this? e to the power something i. Think about Euler's th uh, theorem or Euler's formula. e to the i theta is cosine theta plus i sine theta. Therefore, this part can be written as cosine of theta, but what it, by the way, the theta in this case is going to be, interestingly, root 2 over 2, so we're just going to write it as cosine root 2 over 2 plus i sine root 2 over 2. Root 2 over 2 is actually the cosine and sine of an angle, but in this case, we're kind of double cosining and sining on that one. But that's basically going to be just one of the solutions. And the others are going to be very similar. You're just going to use a different angle, and of course, uh, ln x can also be uh, the opposite of this, right, with the minus sign here, and then that's going to give you a different value, so you're just going to continue finding those things. But what happens if n is negative? So that's going to be actually a pretty interesting case. So you have ln x, let's go back to the original problem, the square root of 2 pi n i, and when you have something negative, then you kind of have to think about it this way. You have a negative multiple of i, and you're supposed to uh, write it in you know, um, polar form. So in this case, the angle you're going to use is actually going to be 3 pi over 2. When you cut it in half, because you're going to take the square root, it's just going to be 3 pi over 4. And, you know, it's just going to give you a different value, so on and so forth. But let's go ahead and stop here and show you the values from Wolfram Alpha, and we'll finish with that. As you can see, there is uh, quite a few different solutions as mentioned here. And this brings us to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.